with gangsters. Yeah. And the actual charting of On My Radio. What was that period like? Was it all going mad and trying to get this band together and yeah, doing this and that? It, it, it was very, very exciting to, to see. Because, um, I mean, I, you kind of knew that it was a good record. Gangsters was so good that you, and, and I'd, you know, I'd gone to a lot of their gigs because I hadn't I got a band myself. I, I, especially when the record came out. Um, I went to most of their gigs at that point. Um, so I could see how it was going down, you know, and the reaction it was beginning to cause. The audiences were getting bigger and bigger, and everybody started dressing like it. So it was just amazingly thrilling and exciting to see an experience, something that I honestly always dreamed about. I always wanted to make my living out of music somehow. Um, and to be really honest, uh, by the time I, I, this, I was 27 years old at that point, and you know, most pop music then and now, even more so, is very young. And it's, I thought, 25, 26. I was kind of, I kind of missed it. All right, yeah. I kind of missed it. Well, I just, what am I going to do? You know, it's like, uh, really should have been there already by now. Um, you know, I don't mean that in an arrogant way. It's just something I wanted to try and achieve, and I hadn't done it at that point. Yeah. I tried very hard, and lots of bands, and, blah, blah, blah. and it just hadn't worked uh, for one reason or another. But it wasn't for the want of trying. So to actually get to that point where it actually was happening was uh, a shock, surprise, a wonderful, exciting, just the, the best thing that you, that you could have. It was just, what a, what a fantastic privilege. It was and, just great. And did doors start opening from, mm. from that point? Um, kind of. It, uh, it was, it, 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 lots of things happened in a very short space of time, but it, uh, that didn't necessarily mean it, it, it wasn't, it was easy. No. There was lots of things to think about, to get used to, to adjust to. Um, and it, you know, it was just a whole lot of stuff that you had to think about and do that you hadn't realised that you had to do. Mm -hmm. um, and of course the band had to come together. Yes. And we had to rehearse, we had to uh, make music better, um, you know, get the stage show better, get our sense of style better. It was all a, uh, you know, a, a job, you know. To, to, to shape it, to work it, and so it, it was at its best. Um, yeah, I was just I was still so incredibly proud of what we achieved. I think it was at the time I, I was I was proud of them because I, th I knew we were achieving a lot. But it's it, it's grown in, in stature in a way. The achievement, I think, mm. looking back on it, I think what we particularly as the selector, what we did uh, was quite special. Mm. And I'm really, really proud of, of being a part of that. Well, absolutely. I mean, we, I think it shaped a lot of people's lives sat here today as well. Mm. And uh, obviously, uh, even like the mighty, mighty boss tones. Uh, don't worry, Desmond Decker's doing fine, and the so selector gets mentioned on that record. You know, and that's a that's a, a Boston band over there yeah. in America. Yeah, that's yeah. the influence. Yeah. But so it must be an absolutely. A proud moment to, to think back on all the stuff that the selectors achieved. Um, yeah. I think we've sort of talked about the initial stages of the selector. Um, just sort of jumping ahead a little bit here, uh, whose decision was it to ask Charlie and Desmond to leave the band? You know, you started getting all these hit records, and uh, you know, why? Why it all went so terribly wrong? Um, almost right from the start in lots of ways, even though we were a successful band and we were doing well. Um, the whole idea of the band 